so far in this series we have created a gallery implemented lightbox handled the deletes everything but having said that there is one little performance issue which i would like to point out thing is all the images which i am loading right now are the big images which means if i see the actual image it is a high resolution image and i'm converting that into a you know 240 by 120 sized thumbnail so when it's loading on the server it is actually going to cost me that extra byte so how do we create these thumbnails that's what i'm going to show you in this tutorial we will be creating thumbnails when we are actually uploading the images and to do that what I'm going to do is use a package for Laravel called intervention the package itself has a lot of options to play with for example you know, uh, I can do crops I can do colorize contrast and a lot of things but for the sake of this tutorial things are very simple I just need to do a composer require for this package and then basically I need to add this as my provider and then this alias now I have already done that in my composer.json I have intervention slash image on version 2.3 and my app.php should already have these things in place so the next step is we need to handle the image uploading and creation of the thumbnail now quickly going to my gallery controller this is where I am uploading the images so how do you want to do it what I am planning to do is so this is my public folder inside that I have galleries and inside galleries I have images right now what I will do is let's delete everything here okay I have images and then I will upload the main image inside the image folder and there will be a thumbnail which will be inside the image slash thumbs folder so let's get started I'll first need to check for the folders so I'll say if not file exist and then I'll gallery slash images gallery slash images the permissions and two so basically this will take care of you know checking whether the folder exists or not I was you know during my experimentation I deleted the images folder and realized that when I upload the image it doesn't allow me to do so so basically the move is not creating the folder if it doesn't exist so we need to make that check okay now this is taking care of the main image now I need to create the thumb right so this is where my intervention is going to come into picture I'll say dollar thumb equals image make gallery slash image sorry images slash dollar file name so basically if you see the docs and go to basic usage where was it yeah image make the file name with the actual path I do a resize and then I can do a save so here I'm getting the instance of the image I'll say I need to resize it 
to so 240 comma 160 and then I want to save it inside gallery slash images slash thumb slash and then the file name the last parameter is basically the quality of the image which I'll set to 60 it's a decent enough quality for the thumbnails I can even go further down as 40 or maybe 50 um, they're small images anyways so now that we have the thumbnail let's quickly check if it is working or not I'll go to my app come here and let's create one more with thumbs view just upload one image says do upload oh I know what is the problem the image class is not found so the image class will be in prevention slash image facades and then image that should take care of it One more time. An error once again. You can't write image data to path. Oh yes. So as I mentioned, I am doing the check for this gallery slash images, but I'm not doing that for the thumbs folder. So I'll just copy paste this part slash thumb. better to call it thumbs actually so, I have one thing here. so if this doesn't exist create this which is okay and then image make oh this one was correct this should be thumbs and upload once more and yes we have it in place now we need to check whether the thumb is generated or not and yes it is so it's dash 5a which means this file and this file so let me quickly check the attributes of this file yeah it's a small image right so we have the basic thing in place let me quickly delete this and i'll create one more okay now my thumbs are obviously not getting deleted and the next thing is when i am uploading the image this image is still coming as a big full size image right so we need to fix that quickly go to the js file where i'm kind of adding the image in the dom so i'll go to resources js app.js now as we can see this is the image source right so what i can do is say base url gallery slash images now this is the thumb so I know that it should be inside the thumbs directory right and slash now I was previously doing a file path but that's the full image URL I need file underscore name which will be give me the small thumbnail right so let's quickly build so let me quickly build the javascript file I'll say gulp it should run everything and yes hit refresh upload once again this one it was anyways a small image so let me pick up one more yes this is 920 by 1080 
all right so now if i do open image in new tab it's a small image right okay so one problem solved now when i do a refresh because i have not changed my code this will result in a big image right because our view is not configured to load the thumbnail so quickly go to gallery view this is where i am loading the images so what i'll do is because the light box need the full url of the main image i'll keep this unchanged instead i'll say this one is gallery slash images slash thumbs and then i'll add file name this should be as backslash okay hit refresh and now let's check if the image is small enough yes so one more problem solved now let us quickly see there are 18 requests and these are small images right and if i hit the button the light box opens up a bigger image which is exactly what we wanted so with these things done we have the thumbnails working now the last part is on delete we are not deleting our thumbnails right so let's quickly go to gallery controller this is where we are unlinking to delete the files the main images i mean so here i will do public path and then it will be slash so gallery slash images thumbs and then file name okay hit refresh let us quickly check there are three images in my thumbs folder and there are five images few in, are older this is okay and so let's hit the refresh button okay it did get deleted and my thumbs folder is empty which means our script is working correctly so yeah that's about it so you can quickly check again your thumbs create the gallery upload few images the thumbnails will be generated done four thumbnails the highest one being 27 kb and if i hit refresh make the bigger images open a new tab small ones click the bigger version and once we delete the thumbnails are gone and the main images are gone as well so yeah that's about it that's about you know creating the galleries creating the thumbnails i hope you like the series and if you have any additional requirements do post comments and i will create a new video